This is the algorithm to insert a node at the end of single linked list. So we are writing a new method inside the linked list class named as insert end which takes a parameter x that need to be inserted into the node. So first we create a node, new node which is named as stem which is having two part data and next. Now the value of x we store into the data part of temp and make the next of temp as null because this is going to be the last node so the next of temp should be none. Now we check whether the linked list is already empty by checking the value of begin. If begin is none that means linked list is currently empty. So if linked list is currently empty TMP will be the first node of the linked list. Even if it's inserting at the end it will become the first node. So begin should be assigned with the value of 10. Now in the else part that means the linked list is not empty. So here in this example we have two nodes. The first node is pointed by begin. So in this case first we need to create a node the same step at the initial part. First we create a node which is named as stem and uh, value will get stored into its data part and none will be stored into the next part of TMP the newly created node. Now we have to join this stem at the end of single linked list. For that purpose we need to reach to the last node current last node of the linked list. So we make a pointer to start from the begin first node and use a while loop when there are further node ptr.next is not equal to null that means there are further node in the linked list. If there are further node we make the pointer to move to the next. So ptr equal ptr next that will make the pointer to move to the next. Using this while loop we can make a pointer starting from begin reach till the last node. So once we reach to the last node we can make the connection. From the last node we need to make the connection to the newly created node which is stem. So we change the value of next of ptr which will be assigned with the address of temp. So temp will be assigned to ptr next. That makes the connection from the current last node to temp. Now in the main method we can call the insert end method and see how we are able to insert a new node at the end of single linked list. So to insert a node at the end of single linked list first we need to create a free node named ten and store the elements to be inserted into the data part and null into the next part of the node. So first we created node which is named as stem and store the data into the data part and uh, null into the next part of TMP. Then we check if single linked list is initially empty. If it's initially empty assign the address of new node TMP to the list pointer begin because TMP will be the only node which will get added into the single linked list. So that should be pointed by the begin pointer. If single linked list is not empty that means there are already some nodes which are present in the single linked list. So we have to come to the last node. For that purpose we traverse, traverse entire linked list from beginning to end until we reach the last node. Once we reach to the last node, assign the address of the new node TMP to the next part of the last node. So that it will, the temp will get joined at the end of single linked list.